What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of a Tech once again. Today I have another how-to video for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at 3D Mark and its inability to read your system information. So, hopping right into it without further ado, let's take a look. So, you can see here we have 3D Mark open and you'll see that we have your system, your processor, your graphics card, and system information is not available. Uh, this actually happens because not all of the components got installed and for whatever reason the Steam version seems to be doing this quite often right now. So what you'll need to do is go download the FutureMark system info. And so you can do a quick search for it and what you'll find is that you can download it uh, separate from everything else. And what you'll do here is go to the official website, which we'll leave a link to down in the description below for you guys to go download System Info 5.33 right now or whatever the latest version is. So you're just going to go ahead and get that downloaded. And then once it's downloaded, you'll run through the install process and then you'll click finish. So at this point, I am actually going to go ahead and snipping tool this real quick so that we have this for later. So everybody knows what we're fixing here. I'm going to do a quick save. And now if we close 3D Mark, let it fully stop running and then launch it, you'll already notice that it is working because we are scanning system info. Okie dokie. So now you'll see here we have your system, Windows 10, 64-bit. It reads all of the memory the processor and the graphics card. I'm gonna go ahead and do a run so you guys can enjoy my latest overclock for the RX 6800 with the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. Enjoy the benchmark and I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and a sub down below, all the good stuff. And you can also come check me out on twitch.tv slash blindrun.